transcription, we take you now behind the scenes of a police headquarters in a great American city, where under the cold, glaring lights will pass before us the innocent, the vagrant, the thief, the murderer. This is The Lineup. sleep lately. Yeah, I go for spells like that. I lie in bed, can't get to sleep, kick and toss and smoke a dozen cigarettes. Yeah. How many in the line? Uh, 23. Your witness is down in the first row, up right over there. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks. See you later. Yeah. Mr. Bradford? Oh, hello, Lieutenant. Been waiting long? Oh, I just got here a few minutes ago. Well, we've got the man. We just need an identification. Yeah, that's what the officer said. Uh, that uh, officer over there. Oh, uh, Sergeant Quine. Uh, yeah. May I have your attention, please? You people on the other side of the wire in the audience room, may I have your attention, please? Thank you. My name is Carter, Sergeant Pete Carter. I'll explain the lineup to you. Each of the suspects you see will be numbered. I call off a number, their name and charge. If you have any questions or identifications, please remember the number assigned to the prisoner as I call his name. If you're sure or not too sure of the suspect, have him held. Questions I ask these suspects are merely to get a natural tone of voice, so do not pay too much attention to their answers, as they often lie. Okay, bring on the line. Okay, keep it moving. Right over here at the end of the stage. Ah, turn and face front. Hands at your side. Now, when I call out your number, step out and talk up. It's a big room out there, and I want everybody to be able to hear you. Okay, number one. Steve Walcott, robbery. Stand up straight, Steve. Okay. Where do you live, Steve? Uh, 464 South Lake Street. Is that a house, a hotel, or what? House. Who do you live with? My brother. Where do you work, Steve? I ain't been. For how long? Uh, how long? I, I don't know. Over a year, I guess. I, uh, at least over a year, I ain't been. How do you pay the rent? I don't. Your brother pays it? Well, he, he's working. Somebody's got a pet. You own a car? No. Were you in a car when you were picked up? Uh, yeah. Whose car was it? Ooh, friends. Who's the friend? Who? Yeah, who's the friend that owned the car? Well, uh, I guess I, I can't remember. I guess you forget your friends pretty easy. Uh, I guess so. Any weapons? Yeah. What? Uh, 38. Well, what kind? An automatic? A revolver? Or a 38 revolver, Smith & Wesson. Anyone arrested with you? No, I, I was alone. Step back. Step back? Back in the line. Oh, okay. always ask the same Okay, person. number two. No, no, Jack no. Putnam, assault. Where do you live, Jack? 299 West Adams. That a house? Yeah. Who do you live with? My wife. That all? Yeah. Doesn't your mother-in-law live with you? Not anymore. She's in the hospital. What'd you hit her with? A foot stool. She's hurt pretty bad. Well, I really just meant to scare her. See, she got the nagging again, and I threw her thing. She didn't even duck. She has a pretty bad concussion. Yeah, I figure we're even. How do you figure? 20 years of nagging and giving me a nervous stomach. Ulcers and insomnia. Nearly breaking up my home a dozen times. Okay. Turning some of my best friends against me. Making me lose a job. Okay, step back. Nearly driving me into an institution. I figure we're even. Step back. Okay. Number three, Harry Malinsky. Robbery. Uh, that, that, that looks like the man. Where do you live, Harry? Sure. Park Lake Hotel. Where is that, Harry? 106th in Madison. Where do you work? Where do you work? I don't know. I, I haven't had a job in a while. Yes, that's him. Any weapons? That's the man who tried to hold me up. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. 32 automatic. Sergeant Cogger. Yes, Lieutenant. Hold number three for interrogation. <laughs> Malinsky. 
You can save us all a lot of time. Now, who is the guy driving the car? What guy? Why don't you make it easy? I was alone. You walked into the Brenner's grocery store and tried to stick it up. Okay. There was a guy waiting in a black Mercury sedan. I walked and I wasn't in no black Mercury sedan. The clerk identified you in the line. I admit I walked into the store and tried to stick up. The clerk says he saw you get out of the black Mercury. Oh, he's crazy. When the officer showed up, you ran for the car, and the guy driving pulled away before you could get to it. I was just running. I didn't run for no car. Even the officer says you did. Look, maybe there was a car there. Maybe it was a black Mercury sedan, but I wasn't running for it. Why hold out? The guy driving ran out on you. Why try and protect it? Look, I tell you, I was alone, walking. I wasn't... Three other robberies this week have identified that black sedan. I'm telling you, I was the driver. I don't know. Yeah, they got a lot of time to find out. All right, then find out. I don't know. You were in that car when it drove up. I was walking. Where'd you walk from? Huh? You walk from some place to that store? Yeah. Where? Uh, uh, I was on Lincoln. What were you doing on Lincoln? Walking. Just walking? Yeah. Planning the stick up? Yeah. Where were you before you started walking on Lincoln? At home. You live at 106 in Madison? Yeah. And where on Lincoln were you walking? Where? What block? I don't know. I was just walking close to the store, I guess. Mm-hmm. And that would make it about the 1100 block. Yeah, I guess. You walked all the way from 106th and Madison to the 1100 block on Lincoln? Well, not all the way. What'd you do? Take a streetcar? Yeah, yeah, I, I took a streetcar. What car? What car? That's right. Well, the Lincoln car. From 106th and Madison? No, I, I, I walked to Lincoln. Why did you pick the Brenner's grocery store? I cased it. It's a good setup. <laughs> Come on, Mullen. I'm telling you. You took the Lincoln streetcar. Yeah. You walked from 106 in Madison. That's right. What time was that? What? What time did you catch the Lincoln streetcar? I don't know. An hour before the stick-up? I, I don't know. I, I don't remember exactly. How long would you say it took you to get to 1100 Lincoln? Look, what difference does it make? Well, we just like to no. know. We're going to keep finding out things until you tell us who was in that black Mercury sedan with you. What time did you get off at 1100 Lincoln, Molenski? Guthrie. Yeah? Where? 994 East Star. Right. I'll take it. Well, what's the matter? A guy driving that black Mercury sedan just held up a gas station on East Orange. Shot the attendant. So what do you want me to do about it? Thomas was driving that car. I don't know. The attendant's pretty bad. Well, I can't help it. I didn't blow him up. I didn't stick up the station. You know who did? No. Okay, Molenski. Let's go, Pete. Any witnesses? The other attendant, he was across the street having dinner. He's in the station. Did you get the license number? No, a lot of people heard the shot, but nobody got the license number. Bill? Yeah. This is Bill Phillips, Ben. Oh, Bill? This is Lieutenant Guthrie and Sergeant Carger. Hi. Uh, hi. Tell us about it. Everything you told me. Well, there really isn't much. I was across the street in the diner. Right over there, the, the Dixie bar Barbecue. Uh huh. Well, I, I finished and started for the station. I heard the shots and looked over and saw some guy jump into a black Merc sedan and drive away. I didn't get it at first. Where was your partner? Uh, Harv was stumbling out the door. That's when I got it through my thick skull that something had happened. I, I ran across and Harv was unconscious. Yeah, this guy who jumped into the black Merc, what'd he look like? I don't know. It, it happened so fast and I wasn't sure anything was wrong at first. You know how fast things can happen. Yeah. Well, he was tall, I guess. Oh, I don't know. What's the use of trying to describe him when I can't? 
I'd like to be able to, but really I can't. Nobody else saw it happen? Oh, Ash is out trying to find somebody, but I don't think he's going to have much luck. There wasn't anybody else in the station, and this isn't a particularly crowded section. What direction did the Merc go, Bill? That way. West. Mm, okay. Come on, Pete. Let's go back and talk to Malinsky. Who was he, Malinsky? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. How, how can I tell you when I don't know? Look, I, I told you I wasn't with nobody. I was alone. I, I walked to Lincoln. I caught a streetcar. Walked and then to I... Lincoln from 106th Street? Yeah, yeah. You might get off with a lighter sentence if we knew who drove you to that store. Look, I, I, I told you I took a streetcar from Madison. Yeah. Madison runs parallel with Lincoln. No, I, I mean from 106th Street. If we pick that guy up and he says you were with him in that car, we'll nail you for withholding evidence. Are you kidding how long did you walk on Lincoln? How long? How long did you walk on Lincoln before you tried to stick up the grocery store? Well, I, I don't know. Maybe a half hour. I don't know. I don't remember. You just walked? Yeah. Yeah, I walked. I walked. I walked, I told you. Which way? I, I, I don't know. I was, I was getting ready to pull the stick up. How, how do I know which way? And you took the streetcar. Yeah. Yeah. Guthrie. Fine, sir. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Malinsky? Yeah? That guy, your friend in the black murk shop. I told you. I don't know nobody in the black murk. The guy he shot in the gas station just died. Better tell us. His name's Walker. Stan Walker. Walker's in number 10, manager in four. 10 must be on the next floor. Yeah. Uh, go up and cover the hall. All right. Yeah? Are you the manager? Yeah. Police. Okay, what do you want? I'm Lieutenant Guthrie. Okay, what do you want? Uh, your name, if you don't mind. Hey. You have a tenant here? Which one? Uh, Stan Walker. Number 10. What's he done? We'd just like to talk to him. Number 10. Uh, don't make a lot of noise, Mr. Simpson, and nine works night. Well, I'd like the key, please. I can't do that. I have a warrant. Why don't you just go up and talk to him if he ain't done nothing serious? No, I'd just like you to cooperate. Look, mister, the last time you cops was here, you hauled some guy out and there was a lot of trouble. My tenant... Uh, we'll try not to make any trouble. Well, if Walker ain't done nothing serious... Mrs. Hirsch, do you want us to break down the door? You can knock, can't you? Mrs. Hirsch, I... Well, who's this? Sergeant Quine. Not car in the garage, ma'am. Oh, you're looking for Mr. Walker's car? Yes, and we'd like to go upstairs and see if Walker's in his room. Okay. And we'd like the key. Okay. But Pete, they try to keep it as quiet as possible. We'll try. She give you trouble? Mm, doesn't like cops. Seems the last time the law was here, a tenant's complained. Uh, Asher staked out in the garage. Yeah. This one's for number 10. Thanks. I suggest you stay in your room. You don't have to suggest nothing. Charlie, you better stay down here and cover the front door. Right. I went down and listened to 10. Couldn't hear anything. Well, let's go in and take a look. <laughs> Some guy snoring up a storm at 9. Mr. Simpson, works night. And get over on the other side. I don't think he's in there. Yeah, let's find out. Claire, and get that room. Kitchen. 
Doesn't even look like he spent the night. Uh, well, let's see what we can find. Let's see, uh, start in here. And if we don't find anything? Then we go check with that blonde Malensky told us about. Nancy Shelton? Yeah. The walker was seeing her as much as Malensky said. She might know where we can find him. Hey. What? I just noticed. The guy in number nine quit snoring. <laughs> Probably rolled over on his stomach. Should be. Oh, there he is. Ah, hi, Ben. Girl in the room? There's a girl in the room, all right, but it isn't Walker's girl. It's a roommate. Well, where's Nancy Shelton? Desk clerk said she went out about an hour before I got here. Doesn't own a car, takes taxis. Oh. And what's her roommate's name? Uh, Bernice Eddington. I saw her when she came down to get a paper. A pretty girl. You haven't talked to her? I uh, said good morning. <laughs> He'd have to do that. And Quine and Ash are over at Walker's. Wasn't there? Uh-uh. They got a call here of Walker Shows. I'll let you know. Now, what's the room? 104, second one at the head of the hall. Okay. Uh, Bernice? Yeah, Eddie. Uh -huh. Yes? Miss Eddington? That's right. Now, we're the police. Police? I'm Lieutenant Guthrie. This is Sergeant Cargan. How do you do? Police? I would like to talk to you, please. Why? Well, I was just getting ready to go out. Meeting Nancy Shelton? Nancy? I know she went out early this morning. Do you mind if we come in? All right. What's the matter? Nancy in trouble? Where'd she go so early this morning? I don't know. I was asleep. I woke up just as she was leaving. What's wrong? What did she do? You know Stan Walker. Stan Walker? Yes. Do you know him? I knew it. What? Stan got himself in trouble. I knew it. How did you know him? He's no good. I never did like him. I told Nancy she shouldn't ought to go running around with him because he's no good. Could Nancy have gone out to meet him this morning? I don't know. I guess she could. Oh, look, Nan's a nice kid. If Stan did something, she didn't have nothing to do with it. How long has she known Walker? I guess about six or seven months. I didn't like him when he first came here. Mm-hmm. Do you know Harry Molensky? Harry Mol... Molensky. Is he a friend of Stan's? Yeah. Short? Dark, kind of mean looking. That's right. I met him. He's been up here a couple of times. Nan tried to fix me up with a date, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to go out with no friends of Stan's. I just never liked Stan from the beginning. And I didn't want to go out with nobody who was a friend of his. Nancy didn't say where she was going? No, honest. What's Stan done? He's in a lot of trouble. I know it, I know it. Look, fellas, Nan's really a great girl. I've lived with her for... Maybe that's her now. Now, look... Uh, you please. better answer. Yeah, all right. Yes? Lieutenant? Yeah, uh, what's up, Small? A uh, blonde girl just drove up to Walker's apartment in a black Merc. She went up to Walker's apartment, had a key and took out some of his clothes. Quine and Asher are tailing her. Oh, gosh, I told her to stay away from him. I told her. Mm, she should have listened. Suitcase met him here. He's got on dark glasses. Uh -huh. No idea what train he's taking? Uh-uh. I hate to take him in the middle of all this crowd. Oh, we can do it fast. Four of us. I don't think he'll try to use his gun. You and I should stay behind us. And when we do it, step in them and get the girl. Right. Oh, hold it. There they are. Heading for the trains. There's Asher. Well, it might be just as well. Pick him up in the train away from all this crowd. All right. Don't stick together. Follow him right on the train? Yeah. So your tickets, please. Westbound train. Yeah, no, I'll have to I wonder if she's home. going with him. Hasn't got a suitcase. Mm. Well, come on. Five fourteen, bedroom B, ramp A. Thank you. Next. Uh, excuse me, let us through. Uh, wait a minute, you'll have uh, to show please. you. Oh. Let's go. Just got on that next car. 
We'll get on and you two cover. Well, one of us better go on the other side of the train. Okay, go ahead, Bob. How do you want to do it? I'm a coach. So it's still going to be tough. There are many people in there. Hey, you take the girl. Right. There he is. Hey, he spotted us. Dan, what's wrong? Take the girl. What's wrong? Let me go. Let me go. Asher, he's running up that way. <laughs> our job tough. It's people like you. Tickets, please. Please show I'll go tickets. to jail. Car 104 and Bay. Thank you. Let us through, please. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, come on through. Is uh, everything all right? Yeah. Oh, uh, Miss, um, did Walker buy his ticket under his right name? Mm-mm. William. Uh-huh. Uh, there's a reservation that's not going to be used, Coach 403. And the name? Williams. Williams. 